we've done our own proper title. We did our own proper title <laughs> oh. spin. You just com- oh. you just completely <laughs> lost on this. Um, welcome to Charge Should Attack. We? Um, we'll show you it later. Or you watch the video. Watch it back. <laughs> just rewind back ten seconds if you're listening to this, and you'll see it again. Um, welcome to Charge Attack. Uh, the after E three talk. I'm going to call it our own press conference, but. It's not really a con- <laughs> there's, no, there's, no, there's no press and it's not really a conference it's just um, three of us sat in a room talking shit uh, talking shit um, there was it was a very interesting E3 I'm going to say interesting is probably the best way I wouldn't say it was unbelievably amazing but it was quite good in certain aspects um, and what we're going to do is quickly just go through the or not quickly as much but go through in the best way possible of all of the games and everything that was announced in the best way possible and basically deliver this information to you as quickly and efficiently with as much depth needed possible capiche capiche, capiche. so i'm ben i'm elliot and i'm luke and <laughs> which <laughs> That's that's really. <laughs> it's started, it's too it's, much for you it's already. Started to, it started to sound a little bit like um, it's a temporal some sort of like nineties like cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> we all just form together and create um, one super robot like Power Rangers. Oh, that'd be cool. Except that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. We said that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're not, not us. <laughs> yeah. um, so this is going to be broken down into two separate videos. One of which will contain most of the works from EA, Microsoft. Bethesda and Ubisoft. The so Western we, Studios. The Western Studios. And France. That's still the West. I'd argue Western, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't really contribute much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is extremely In terms of games, in terms of games we talk about. Uh, moving, yeah. moving past. <laughs> um, and then in a second video or podcaster if you will or conference or apparently conference press <laughs> conference um we'll be talking about square enix and nintendo as there was a lot more Stuff. interesting depth to them there seems to be a lot more to talk about in that regards but no very yeah. three, so. so first of all just before we start <laughs> what did you two think of e3 and how did you feel as though it compares to potentially a couple of years prior uh, I am happily disappointed. Happily disappointed? I have far too big a backlog right now. I really didn't need more games that looked cool to be announced. So I'm glad that that didn't happen. <laughs> I was wondering where you go with that. Um, that. That is the most porous sentence there were, structure There ever. were cool announcements and cool things to see, but they're all a ways off and I'm happy for that much. Yeah. What about you, Luke? It covered a lot of bases, but it wasn't amazing like this stuff that everyone was so excited and pumped to hear about for the most part. Mm. So it gave us information and some stuff to look forward to, and that was about it. Yeah, well, obviously with Sony not being there this year, obviously takes away a massive amount of the hype. It, I think it has shown quite strongly, um, unfortunately. It did feel a little bit more fractured. Things weren't as strong as they should have been. I mean, we spoke about a E3 podcast last week in preparation for this as to what we were expecting, when things are, all of that sort of information. And we had our own sort of predictions as to what a lot of these companies should be doing. A lot of them didn't follow it. There was a lot of things that we were hoping to see we didn't see, which is a bit of a shame, really. And there was very, very little of what we have now seen that we had no idea was there before which is really disappointing considering this is what e3 should be about it should be about telling people this is what our company can do this is what we're known for this is what we're going to be doing in the future to show you why you should have faith in our company and i don't feel as though a lot of the companies delivered on that would you agree because yeah, they um, just showed cinematic footage of all their games yeah mm-hmm this was the E3 of cinematics. Cinematics. Far and away. Like, I know there are obviously more days to come where people will get to go hands-on with some games. Yeah. But there is usually a bit more gameplay going on yeah. during the actual conferences than we had this year. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we'll get started. EA, they were on Saturday or Friday, depending on when you started watching it and whatnot. Mm. Um, and they 
they didn't do a proper conference as such. They just showed some no, footage from a EA couple play. of individual games. Little. They have a weird way of wording it, but I forget what it is. Um, but it's just a couple of playthroughs, like 15 minute playthroughs yeah, of upcoming games. It's just a quick little showcase for their some of their games and what the potential is. Um, so the major big one for EA was Star Wars. Mm-hmm. What did you think? I think it looked cool. I like what I've seen so far, but it needs polishing. A yeah. lot of polishing. Any more details yeah. you want to go off there, Elliot? <laughs> or do you want to just sit there and say the, it's cool? The polishing is a good point. Like, it does not look up to the standards that yeah. Battlefront 2 looked. And even maybe, like, Force Unleashed 2. Yeah, I mean, what like, from that trailer and everything that they've shown so far, is it does seem to be a little bit blocky. Um, I've said that it looks... Very almost basic. It's just sort of like, oh yeah, they've got to have this ability where he can throw mm. the lightsaber and he must have this ability. There's some funky little nuances in there and yeah. some nice little additives. But even like the 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 FMV sort of style bits and the, the non-interactable bits where it shows him like knocking down or jumping off a cliff or anything like that is it was really basic. They're, they're not showing too much of this. No, what we saw felt safe. I would say, like I would say, below safe. Well, maybe it. D- I would they say didn't show safe, anything that knocked anyone's socks off. Yeah, but like what I'm saying is, is they're not, they're not just showing safe footage of oh yeah this you'll be able to do these moves and you'll be able to do this these moves and everything like that. So they showed below that they show oh yeah you can jump. You will be able to jump off this cliff. You will be able to <laughs> kill these enemies in more than one way. Give me some more variety. Like, you can play it safe and show some interesting aspects of your game. You do not have That's to true. play it safe and then just show tease things. 10 different enemies all had a lightsaber thrown at them, a bullet frozen and thrown back. There's like, there, there is so much more. If this game is supposed to be as big as it's, as everyone's expecting it to be, it needs to be more, and you need to be showing more. And everyone's got lack of trust in EA as it is. Yeah, and I, I think un- I think that's why they went safe. They yeah, just wanted that's... to show like this is this is a safe bet kind of game. Yeah, if you got what I mean. Like they're not aiming to make something a bit more risky, like Red Dead Two. They're aiming for a game that people will like and buy and be like. I enjoyed that game. They've said there's no loot boxes and microtransactions in this, correct, haven't they? They have. Okay, so you've already eradicated what everyone is majorly concerned about. That's true. So now you need to be showing us a reason to buy this game. What you're showing me so far is that it's a sort of basic sort of Star Wars game. Yeah. What I see is Force Unleashed with less flavour. Yeah, Force Unleashed 2 was a very good game in comparison to what we've seen so far in terms of just of looks. So that's what I'm hoping with the the finer tuning of this game will take that to the next level and we'll see more sort of finesse and in-depth combat that isn't sort of you're just stood there swinging your arms about yeah. and achieving something. We'll see more interactive combat. As they mentioned, it was going to play a large part. You'd have to use certain attacks against certain enemies. It wasn't going to be just a hack and slash. So we need to see more of that come into it where they actually mm. execute certain strategies in this game yeah well the the combat did look smart i'm gonna call or careful like they did say that it was a very good player playing the game like you kind of maybe have to be a bit more careful than if that's a good player playing the game then that's that's sort of the worrying point i mean we we've spoken about this anyway about the fact that Obviously, the combat has a potential to get better further into the game. And we used God of War as an example yeah. in this, didn't God we? God of War's combat evolved yeah. massively. So, you. at the very beginning of God of War, it is pretty basic, where you would see that sort of stuff. Yeah. The thing that God of War has on its side in that sense is nobody had done that before. So, visually, God of War looked cool no matter what it was doing. Yeah. If they'd just shown in a God of War trailer him walking through the environment with all these enemies you'd still look at it and go, that's awesome. Whereas yeah. with this, people have as expectations and they are not meeting them, for me anyway, by just showing a couple of fancy lightsaber moves and that's it. 
Yeah. I mean, we I made the comparison with this with Sekiro as well. Um, just in the essence of enemy placement, enemy numbers, and the style of which they're portrayed to you. Now, I'm not, it's not a like-for-like like sort of thing, is it? Let's be honest. Oh, no. In, in no way, no. shape, or form. But you seem to have, like... Just like something that you'd expect from a from a software game is you've got a, mind, a smaller amount of enemies mm. that potentially could be a lot more damaging or a lot more fatal. Yeah. And you have to think about your approach. That's the way that they've been placed. However, it doesn't play like that in the sense that he just ran up to them, two hits, most of the stormtroopers, and that's if pretty that. much it. One hit, most Lots of people are upset about the lack of dismemberment and whatnot. Mm. Again, this will, will revert back to sort of like what EA can actually do or what yeah. Respawn can do while you Disney can feel are breathing. The hand of Disney. Yeah, while D- Disney are breathing down their neck. but that, And that might be the thing that will kill this. Yeah. In a certain essence. Disney love killing things. Why are they so worried about <laughs> us being true. locked off? I mean, it's. How many Disney movies? don't end with the villain just dying. Or start or with the like parent dying. I think you guys are so. really looking at the weird part of this comparison. <laughs> <laughs> but what did just occur to me is I don't think either of the two new Star Wars films, or four new Star Wars films, have any dismembering. Do you want to... I was going to say spoiler alert there, but I guess not. Um... Right, so from Force Awakens up through whatever until now, I don't think anyone's lost any limbs. And before that... There was at least one limb lost in every film, I think. So what you're saying is Disney is against dismemberment. Yeah, against dismemberment. They hate the disabled. But they can be Quite stabbed. happy to hang people, stab people, that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> you're getting into spoiler territory. Um, last of all, just Everyone's on... seen Tarzan. <laughs> last of all, just on Star Wars, um, is story. Now, obviously, it's meant to be a narrative and story-driven game. Mm-hmm. How do you think it, that is panning out for you so far? Again, they haven't shown too much of the story at all. No. Which is a good thing in a lot of elements. You don't want them to do a Kingdom Hearts 3 and they announce everything that's going on in the game before the <laughs> game actually comes out. But do you think it's going in the right direction? Is what you're seeing on screen going with what you would sort of imagine to happen? He, in the new... Disney Star Wars status where everything is canon and has like strict rules. Yes. Hmm. But I want I want to see more story because at the moment I don't care about the main character. No. We've seen a bit of character interaction between him and his little robot which would indicate we're going to get sort of a more in-depth sort of storyline behind those two sort of how they came together and what they're doing for it. Potentially. Potentially, yeah. I mean, little robots cute. The one little cuts we saw might be the sort of the the whole entirety of their dialogue together, really. <laughs> but potential, we have that, so we might have, or well, not so we have kind of dialogue options, but we might see sort of those two build a story, to, like a, a companionship of some sort mm. as the story goes, which will then contribute to the story going forward. Yeah. So yeah. I think I that think... little robot's going to get into some peril. And we're going to be like, not a robot. Not my robot. <laughs> yeah. There's, there is, again, this is the problem that EA have now created. Is like you said, there is so much room for these sorts of interactive experiences and the possibilities that can come out of this. I'm not going to sit here and say that that's, that seems like where they're going to go because you get the, I half expect them to sort of, those sorts of on-screen interactions that we've seen so far, it's about as far as it might go for that little robot. I hope yeah. not. I hope he's more interactable in the game. Like, maybe sort of commands or... I mean, so are they brief him. sort of like he hacking and stuff. stuff like that? He, he hacks some little things. Yeah. It, it doesn't look like you play the hacking. No. Like, it mm. looks like he just does it. But he does yeah. things for... I, I don't remember if it was in this or the later trailer, but you use him as a, a repel or a... Like uh, a zip line. Zip line. Yeah. 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 I don't so, see interaction with him, like, so you give he's commands functional. and things. Yeah, but is the chances are, hopefully he won't be, but chances are he might just be a tool. He might just be a bit of equipment to you. Yeah, I mean... Unless they do the real, real rubbish thing of making it dramatic that he gets, like, killed three quarters of the way through the yeah, game. So but they imagine. haven't, <laughs> but they haven't built enough character base for you to care yeah yeah 
Anyways, moving on from that, they did show some other, talk about other games, so Apex Legends, Battlefield 5 they talked about as well. Um, we're not going to go over them because it's not really too much or anything too big or fancy. It's, it's the our sort of thing. Wheelhouse, I've <laughs> yeah, we're not the smartest of people on battle royales, and Battlefield Five is is good. I think they were focusing on the battle, battle royale, royale mode anyway. So it's... yeah, which is is cool, and we've said about this before. It's probably something we'll go more over if it becomes something that's more interesting to talk about. But as it stands, it's just basic sort of. Delivery of what you'd expect for those games. FIFA 20, you had something on this, didn't you, Elliot? Yeah. the uh, FIFA 20 marks maybe a new low in EA's... What's the word? Partnership with the Switch in that... The lack Switch, of. Oh, lack of, exactly. In that the Switch version is now just... It's just an updated version of FIFA 19. It doesn't have any of the new extras that they're putting into FIFA 20, such as the Volta mode, which is probably the only significant new thing in 20, if I'm honest. But it's still a shame that it's not in there. And they haven't brought it up to date with the previous FIFA 19s on PS4 and Xbox One either. If you're as confused as I am, then I don't blame you. <laughs> it's not It's not good. Basically, they're just... Switch, I'm guessing, is just power. It's just not able to keep up with it. I honestly think it's just to do with the size of the game card, maybe. But then people have additional downloads with stuff anyway, so I'm not sure. No, it's just one. It's just a weird approach. Um, mm. But to be honest, I would expect that most FIFA fans going I think off a generic, yeah, going off a generic sort of basis is most people that play FIFA normally play Call of Duty as well I'm going to happily take a stab at that. and they all have either a PS4 or an Xbox and they all hate each other anyway yeah so they all fuck each other's mums oh jeez <laughs> oh, right. no, that was a joke about online <laughs> that was a bit of a low blow wasn't it um, so yeah moving on from that they then have Madden 40 sorry, Madden, 40, Madden 40 Madden 20 and then The Sims 4 which had a new DLC pack yep yeah. Some kind of desert island business. Desert island. We spoke about this before. Sims 4 is... It was fun in Sims 2, so it might be fun now. Sims 4 is now how old? It's too many oh, years. Oh, yeah, it's I pretty it's old at this point. Yeah. Isn't it? Five years, I believe it is old now. Which is, is fine, and they keep giving it regular DLC updates, yeah. which we spoke about on our previous E... Prior to E3 talk, and we did say that they can't really release in Sims 5 now. Because you've spent so much bloody money on this one, yeah. you're going to be a little bit hacked off to lose it all. It'll be a good few years after, well, it's EA, it might not be, but <laughs> you know they, what I they mean. They kind of let Sims do its own thing. They have done for yeah. years. Yeah. Um, and that was mainly it for, was it for EA. E3. EA. EA and <laughs> E3. Uh, yeah, E3 was over at that point. Um, which... Yeah, I mean, I mean, we knew it would be a smaller thing from EA. Yeah, they always said they doing. always said that it was going to be smaller. So it's something that we tried to go over quickly. Star Wars is obviously a very, very big title that we needed to talk about in depth. Yeah. However, there's really what you can say about it at the moment. It's it's still a for me anyway. It's still a waiting game. It's still yeah. something that I cannot. Weird considering the release date. Mm. Which I mean, I forget it off the top of my head, but it's autumn. November fifteenth. Mm, so pretty soon. I'd say that's more winter than autumn. November is autumn. But we'll, let's not oh, get into God, that. Go. That's, it, that's, that's for our other podcast of Weather Weekly. Um, <laughs> if you're not subscribed, <laughs> <laughs> don't. <laughs> you soon have. Um, the next on the agenda, which was actually on the Sunday at 9 o'clock in the evening for us Brits, which was 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I worked that out so quick. You're getting good at um, <laughs> Was Microsoft the big kahuna, the big cheese, mm. the one that we said has a lot riding this on is its the one with the expectations. Yep. So obviously with Sony not being there, all eyes are on you, Microsoft. Deliver us from evil. Oh. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> um, 
Show us, show us what you can do. Show us what you've got. Show us everything that's great and the reasons to stay with you. And make an amazing conference that announces nothing but brand new and brilliant games and everything that Xbox can do amazingly well. I don't think they did that. But Luke, take us through it. <laughs> they announced a load of games. And I think maybe too many yeah, I think they may have sort of thrown so much at us trying to impress us that they actually sort of lost the indiv- mm. individuality of their games that they're making and didn't spend enough time on the bigger titles that needed a little bit more, just an in-depth breakdown just so we can get an idea of it. Yeah. Well, indie titles are great in sort of supporting the smaller companies. There were a lot that were announced. And even they, they had a few second previews for the most part. And some of them were even bought back from the ID Xbox, which we discussed previously. So a lot of these aren't new releases from or new announcements for E3. So they could, or you could argue, they're not really announcing that many new games. We've already had a, an insight, but they did go through quite a few bigger titles. Uh, not in much detail, but. Um, Take us through the show, stage by stage, what so, happened first. Starting off, we had uh, an, in, what, an insight a view of Outer Worlds, which uh, is very much... Uh, is like a, realistically the, what, Fallout 76? Yeah, very much yeah. a Fallout well, feel. Fallout from the be. New Vegas team. Yeah, and they like to sh- point that out every time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it? From the creators of Fallout, because that's what people want. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, and the new trailer... Fallout itself lets let people down, so why not remind people of yeah. the Fallout that didn't? It's basically... It's a, it's a great way to basically say to all the Fallout fans that have been playing 76 that were really upset, saying, ah, you're upset with that, come over here, look what I got. <laughs> it felt like Fallout without the apocalypse, so it was sort of that... Yeah. What people like in Fallout, but in maybe a nicer looking environment yeah. for the most part. <laughs> Space. Exactly, yeah. yeah. The new trailer... Did it show anything? It didn't show too much of like new and fancy. There's no super in depth. Like, oh, this is this brand new individual area where they showed off. The... Again, this is going yeah, back to what we. The trailer showed anything. Yeah. The so a lot of guns, didn't. a lot of gun action. Yeah, this really. is this is what we we're talking about. Like the E3 was was very not very experimental. It wasn't very showy offy of what your games have got. It was just it was almost like this E3 was just from Microsoft anyway. It was just flipping advertisement. So yeah, we got Outer Worlds. Here's the trailer. Yeah. A lot yeah, of they things just were just discuss. showing the game. Mm. I think the monsters in that game, though, do look cool. Oh, yeah. I, I think the game looks cool, but I don't think this particular instance mm. of seeing it did, yeah. did anything more for it. Yeah, you you would look at this and go, oh, yeah, it's another Outer Worlds trailer. And, what's the, and they gave a release date, didn't they? Yes, October 25th, I believe, mm-hmm. this year. So quite soon. Yep. So... Yeah. I'm sure they'll uh, release more gameplay and maybe something actually about the story. Yeah. So maybe we just have seen sort of snippets from what you do in the game and it is just so far shooting people and exploring. Yeah. So, yeah, interesting to see what they do more with it and where they'll take it. Yeah. Perfect. What's next? Uh, so we had a preview of the new game Bleeding Edge, which is the 4v4 uh, sort of uh, multiplayer combat. The Ninja new, Theory. New Ninja, Ninja Theory. Ninja Theory game. Yep. Oh, I was going to say the new Overwatch, really. <laughs> I mean, Overwatch has yeah. been going for three years now. I think people are looking for something new. And this is a melee focused, isn't yes. it? Yeah, 4v4 melee. Character I mean, designs look amazing. Very Borderlands style, which I think a lot of people are cashing in on at the moment. Yes. Yeah. Because of knows. Borderlands. Exactly. Uh, um, which is cool. Um, yeah. Got to get edition. in there before 3 comes out. Though th- mm. this will play very differently, I'm oh, sure. I was going to say, they're two completely different games. Yeah. So, oh, but yeah, like, it's just an aesthetic. When you but... finished Borderlands 3, because I get the feeling, don't get me wrong, there'll be DLC. D- Borderlands 3 is a game where you play it to complete it, whereas this will be a game that you pick up to play to continuously play. Like an arcade game. Yeah. I think yeah. that's like fair. Overwatch. I think they'll probably that. But it, yeah. I think we we'll just use it as a comparison. Why not just continue? It? It's Overwatch yeah. with Borderlands characters, yeah. <laughs> and it's all melee, and a guy yeah. spits fire out of his mouth, and it's, it's like robot. compact Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, four v four. So you've got less people to be angry at for being shit. Yeah. <laughs> What's next? Uh, so we had uh, a preview of the new Ori: Will of the Wisps, which mm-hmm. looks amazing. 
those games have always had a very nice aesthetic look mm, to them. Those are gorgeous games. And always played very well from what I've heard. Very in-depth sort of story. Um, and sort of, they just continued on that. Uh, we've seen not too much in terms of sort of the levels and things. I think just enough to pique people's interests. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they do with that one going forward. I do like the look of this one. Yeah, looks really, really good. Uh, it's just one of those things. It's quite. It's a very nice standout title. It's a pretty Xbox. Rayman game, isn't it? Without the yeah. fighting. <laughs> yeah. Good thing for Xbox to have up their sleeve. Like it's very different from their typical repertoire yeah. of shooters yeah. and races. Yeah, completely agree. Oh, did it get a release date? Uh, yes, it is the second of the eleventh twenty. So later this year as well. November's going to be busy for a lot of people. <laughs> 20? 2020. So next year, even. <laughs> November the 11th, No, that, 2020. Must, that must be an American date. It must be. <laughs> right? So February. Could be the 11th of February. They wouldn't announce or yeah, a November be. 2020 <laughs> game. See, this is why you're quite fortunate, because you had Square Enix announce Final Fantasy VII, and they put yeah. free free, and I was like, oh, well, at least I know which month that <laughs> <Exactly. happens." laughs> It's one of the two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next, we had... And I can't believe this is a thing, but we've got Minecraft Dungeon Crawler. Yep, cashing in on Minecraft once more. Mm. I mean, Wait. Minecraft. Minecraft's quite good anyway. Yeah. Like, don't get me I wrong. Mean, I'm not a massive huge, fan, right? but I can appreciate it for what it's worth. I can see why kids can like it, and it has its positive qualities. Did it need a dungeon crawler? I feel like this takes away from the basic aspect that is Minecraft, that you build things. Mm. Yeah. You got you kill things in Minecraft, but that's not really the well, end thing. So a dungeon crawler is... Yeah. And it I doesn't think... look like you build in it. I, uh, like, it doesn't look like you're sort of reshaping a dungeon to help you get through it or anything. It just looks so like So far. Going... I was going to so say, far. so far, there's, there's always potential for more in the future. But realistically speaking, looking at this, is it is just sort of like a... A Minecraft spin-off in a way to basically yeah. create a game, call it Minecraft, make sales, and kids love it. That's all that really matters. I was much more interested in this uh, Minecraft story mode than this. So yeah, I mean, realistically, Minecraft has sold so many copies and done so well. What they I should think be it's working the second on, highest yeah, individual game. What they ever. should be focusing on is like Minecraft HD or something like that, which plays on all the modern consoles, because then every kid will want to buy that. Well, I mean, it's already on all the modern consoles. Yeah, on the Xbox. No, one. like HD is in like everything looks really pretty. Oh, that's what uh, I'm where you where you have what, a circle in it. <laughs> that's what PCs for. You can mod the crap out of it. Mm. Yeah, exactly. But a lot of kids don't know how to do that. So it's I'm just true. thinking of the You'll children. You'll be surprised. <laughs> I think of the children every day. <laughs> right, God. You, you are wanted... cutting that out. <laughs> we went to the next one. Just oh. adding more work for yourself. <laughs> Next, we had what we all thought was a new Outlast, but wasn't. Uh, okay. We have the new Blair Witch game. Did they show any gameplay? No. No? <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> right. It could have been a cutscene from the game, but it could, easily, not... could I, easily have I, I been... I think it was a cutscene <laughs> representing gameplay. Yeah. Like... I think what that... you Basically, the only thing you'll be missing in that scene might be like a small UI bar. Or like yeah. a battery thing, and that'd be what the game would look like. But looks very creepy. Mm. You're playing as a guy with a dog, so instant fear for that dog. <gasps> Shit I didn't realise there was a dog. Okay. There is a dog. Oh, I went so... there. Yeah, if I the dog was. isn't, well, it's unless you can leave the dog in the truck while you I'm go. I'm pretty sure you see it running through the forest with you. I need to like, oh, nah. the dog. So you've nah. immediately lost all of your viewership here. Exactly. But it looks quite creepy very sort of ghosty it's a guy looking for a kid that's what we know yeah. so far so Blair Witch is classic horror so I guess horror fans will be like oh yay if you've seen the film you probably appreciate this more than uh, any of them hadn't I yeah. certainly haven't seen the film and oh, neither have the I game, have so. you seen the film <laughs> I have seen most of the film that was <laughs> I've started puberty midway through that <laughs> sentence. Um, I've seen most of the film, and it's okay. Would it make you buy the, f the game? No. <laughs> I'm not a massive... I, do, I enjoy horrors in a weird way of, if they're on and you're with a group of mates, you could play. But I don't feel as though this game gives you the aspect of, play this with your friends, 
I mean, most games don't give that, do they? Unless it says no, co-op. But... Or it's yeah. a Telltale game. Those will always play with your mate's games. So, no, yeah, no, it's not like so no. Just, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's... It's looking all right. It's looking different. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, no, I don't think... I mean, we all thought it was Outlast, so... Yeah, so, good on you. We got the title Potential wrong. title. Hopefully we see more, and... Um, well, sort of... no, you don't want to see too much more, you know? It's no, it's more of, like, what the gameplay is going to yeah, be like. Right, is okay. it going to be, like, you're just walking around yeah. with a torch in front of you... And it's almost going to feel like a that's, walking simulator. That's a very good point, actually. It could be just something that crap. Yeah. And for all we know, it could be top-down still. I mean, all we saw was a CG trailer. Yeah. We don't know that it's representing gameplay. I don't think... I think anybody who created a horror game nowadays knows that top-down is one of the hardest mm. ways to do it. See how I said that there? Yeah, that's good. Rather than saying it was shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on then. Take us to the next one. Next, we had uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Now, we could talk for this for about an hour and a half to so try and keep it brief, decent, and in loving of Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Hot protagonist. Graphics looked amazing from what they showed. That could just be a CD yeah, trailer. There was some gameplay in there, but very, very small amount. Yeah. yeah. And the guy's got awesome wrist blades. Yeah. I mean, the that's all you really cool. need to take yeah. away from it. They did show some gameplay footage. It's first person, as you sad about. as they said, some really cool weapons like the whip sort of thing that comes off yeah. his eyes, like, Wah! sort the, of thing. The weaponry and stuff does look cool. Yeah, so much potential. CD Projekt Red, you've got no reason to distrust them at it's all. True. There is very few games I would advise people to pre-order. This is one that I would say, yeah, if you pre-ordered that, I sort of can't blame you because you'd buy it on bay one, day bay one, <laughs> day one anyway. So yeah. that's quite cool. Um, the thing is, is, it's been talked about so much, there's no point in us really going over it too much. Keanu yeah. Reeves is in it, which is cool. a really awesome reveal. Like, yeah. look, Keanu Surprising Reeves is Keanu. like the love of the world at the moment. That's very true. I mean, he's a lovable guy. Yeah, he does a lot of good. He does. Um, so, there's not really much else we can say, unfortunately. It looks great from what we're seeing. Again, a lot of it was cinematic. Yeah, um, again, more gameplay needed to make more decisions. More gameplay needed. But I'm sure they I think s- they're showing. They said that they're showing more soon, yeah. so. But we'll keep you posted on that. A, a pretty good CG trailer. Yeah. If we're getting into that kind of comparison. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I the, mean, it was the a length- fine edging was perfect. I mean, it was a lengthy trailer that communicated the story in some sense. The like some of them don't that were achieve amazing. that. If that's what the cutscenes look like, I'll be impressed. What's um? What's the story base? It seems like you're a sort of wannabe gangster mm. it's, um, your friend dies in the process of being trying to get something and then you're seemingly on the run from I guess everyone it's sounds about the, uh, the city's mad with cybernetic enhancements and body modifications so everyone's like what's the bet that you can have robot sex in it no given doubt. that it's made by the witcher team hi yeah <laughs> sex in a game I mean they managed to I mean, it's jumping ahead a bit, but they managed to drop a sex scene into the Witcher trailer for Nintendo. Nice. Yeah. Like, nice. think about that. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, moving on. Uh, next, we had uh, the smaller game, uh, Spirit Fairers, I believe it's pronounced. If I've read this down correctly. Mm-hmm. Spirit Fairer. Fairer, yeah. I'm pretty sure I, I had to correct mind. you about that when we were watching it. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Um, so it seems to be um, sort of a sort of side-scrolling, uh, very story-driven game. Yeah. Um, Seems you play as a, I'm assuming it's a human. We seems haven't seen human. much. Yeah. There's a lot of animal and anthropomorphic creatures in it. That was a big word for you. That was a big word. <laughs> I had to think about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it looks like a very story-driven game, very interactive. Lots of sort of cuts, like interactions yeah. with the other characters. Uh, it mentioned about sort of have to say goodbye, so potentially a lot of. Uh, I think it's going to be a tearjerker. Yeah, maybe sort of, lots of death and things, or potentially getting people killed if you do something wrong. Yeah. Fair enough. Strange place to show this game, though. I mean, I I think it looks cool, but I think showing it at the indie showcase. I mean, I don't know that it's indie, but I feel it's a more appropriate audience mm-hmm. for this game, Definitely. and also it needs a bit of time to like. You need to see it for a little while and see how the game is going to work. Mm. You can't just like be like, 
Oh, it sort of looks like maybe you build a boat yeah. for animals. And that's yeah. it, like... So we come the fact that they didn't give these things. Oh, is this the game that you said it had a load of fairies in it? I said it's for a fairy's <laughs> fantasy, yes. Oh, all <laughs> oh, right, okay, I know what you're talking about. That's now. the anthropomorphic <laughs> I literally, yeah. in all honesty, I zoned out for the past 10 seconds because it doesn't sound that interesting to me. Dissed him on the use of the long word, but did not follow what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what it meant. That's why I was impressed by the long word. I didn't know what it meant. How can you impress by something you don't know? <laughs> That's like rocket science. I'm still impressed when a rocket goes into space. I don't understand how it works. Anyway, it's going on. Yeah. Uh, next, we have a remake of a classic Battle Toads. Mm. I think or it's just they've a already new one. Sh- it says remake from what I've got here. Really? Apparently. I wrote oh. it down, so it's correct. <laughs> it is a remake, I believe. I thought it was just brand new. Okay. Um, oh, they've shown this all the most of this footage before. Anyway, exactly the same as the old one. Well, uh, well, lots well, no, of they fighting. haven't. They haven't shown a single thing of this game. Yes, they did last year. No, they showed the logo. No, last year And then year they cut they sh- to black. Well, okay, well then they've... I've definitely seen this that footage before. This is the first time this game has I've ever been shown. I've definitely seen that footage before. This was their big reveal. Well, it was a shit reveal then, wasn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> what game came after this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Legend of Right. Exactly. Uh, what? Exactly. I don't remember this. That's at all. It's, it's very the the drawn looking game that like you look, like you don't even pl- like you do anything in it. Uh is this is it looked like it had an upper title of like RPG That's book the one. Or something. Yeah. It's very drawn sort of like pages. It looks turning. like you're going through a kid's scrapbook or yeah. something. We have no idea what this game's about. No. Can't tell what's going on when you play. I mean, okay, I might be wrong. That might have been the first time I've seen <laughs> that footage have been shown. I must have been thinking about last year where they showed the old footage and then said they were remaking it. So it pretty much looks exactly the same and works exactly the same. You play Toad, you, you, you battle, and you ride things, and yeah. you dodge things. And jumping. It's one of those games where I feel as though it's more of a sort of like... Oh yeah, we're bringing back Battle Toads. How cool are we? Rather than people are going, I want to play Battle Toads. Yeah, it's like them bringing back Medieval. Like, nah, Medieval's cool. Yeah, but you're happy. No one else cares. Battle Toads is on the recent rare Those replay, so we've had it sort of again. Really, that is stop true, talking though. about Battle Toads. We're talking about Sony. <laughs> 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 Anyways, yeah. So Battle Toads, they showed they showed gameplay footage. Looked exactly looked like right. you would expect it to. It's not something that is blowing your mind and going to stand out and make you go, yeah, I want to get an Xbox it for that, wasn't but there you the go. the best co-op brawler at the time, so I see no reason it would be now. Mm-hmm. But it might be fun. Yeah, and that's all you need. That's all a game is there for, to keep you entertained. I'd done it if it was free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're waiting until it's on Xbox. To be fair, if you have Game Pass... Yeah, if you have Game Pass, yeah, I'd play it on there. There you go. What's next? Uh, so next they went into a segment uh, basically talking about, obviously, much more deeds, um, a much more a list of broken down of the indie games of which they are releasing. Yeah. A few of which we have seen in their previous uh, yeah, release videos. Yeah, that was like the Drinking with Satan, or Drinking yeah, to Beat after Satan. Party. That's it, After Party, that trolley game or something. Yeah, Super that Supermarket. 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 I want to say... Shriek. I always I want, want to say a sweep. Shriek. Shriek. I always want to say Sweep as well. <laughs> yeah, they released, so went into... Showed very short clips of these games, um, which didn't really sell them much, unfortunately, but... Didn't We've last time either. <laughs> no, exactly. So, but I'm sure well, we'll see more. No, after near party, on. they did, but that had some after time. Party, yeah, that looked quite good. Um, they then went on to discuss more about uh, the updates to the Game Pass um, and the new edition, with which it. we'd already spoken about in a prior com- um, talk as well when it got announced about four weeks ago. Oh, but they're now Pass officially Ultimate isn't new news. It's oh, no, not they, really new. They news. have released now with the the PC Game Pass, the Ultimate Edition. Yeah, there you go. So you can now play... So it's exactly the same price. Essentially, all you do is you get Xbox Game Pass on PC as well. Yep, so the games... So it's still $14.99, be... which is probably about £14.99. Or actually probably more like 12 yep. quid. I reckon they'll mm-hmm. do it for. They announced this like it was big news. I didn't know that you didn't get Game Pass on your PC when you signed up on your Xbox. Yeah, that sounds like a bit of a dick move, really. But... I mean, it's good that it's there now... This is where, like, the whole... It, essentially, it's almost like an issue that Microsoft have got because they do PC and they do... Only certain Xbox. games had the cross-platform where you could play it on either or and still... 
play with your friends on console, mm. such as, say, like Sea of Thieves or the latest Halo Wars, you can play them on your PC and still play with your mates on the Xbox at the same time. So mm. it gives people more opportunity to play all their other games on their PC with yeah. their Xbox friends. Giving people lots of options is not necessarily a good thing. But people who have PC like the options. Yeah, but people that, like, God, people like that have <laughs> people that like PC and play PC a lot and put a lot of money and time and effort into making their PC run the best games at the highest quality I'm and very the best way. Where this is going. <laughs> It's it's so flat. judgmental. <laughs> they don't give a shit about playing on a console. It's oh, not the okay, console, it's yeah. playing with their friends who might be on the console. Well then, Xbox, you need to work on your bloody cross play a lot better then. Well that's what they've done with this. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> They're doing a lot better than PlayStation. Yeah, but I like that's why I like PlayStation. Is that Because they can... don't have cross play. <laughs> I don't understand what people's need for cross play is. You can't add them as like proper friends and whatnot. Yeah, only on specific games. Which is true. As you're already starting to cause me problems. I don't... But it's I good when that happens. I don't have any friends. Okay. <laughs> so that's why you're salty about this, because it doesn't apply to you. Exactly. Yeah. They Stop wasted putting, your time out putting, because you're a miserable little Stop loner. putting me... <laughs> we'll finish this segment and come back up and start talking about friends. Stop putting money towards other people. Direct all of it at me. <laughs> so anyway, so an um, ultimate pass, you get yep. Xbox Live, yep. Game Xbox pass. Game Pass, and... PC, PC Xbox, Xbox Game Pass, correct? Yeah, Xbox Game Pass. All PC. in one package, fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Expensive as shit. Yeah, that is considering, really bad. Uh, considering live is like forty fifty pounds a year. That's one hundred and eighty dollars a year. Yeah. But if you're going to be buying them anyway, then you might as well have them all together cheaper. Yep. And I think they need to do if they don't do already, they need to do a year bundle. Yeah. Yeah. Because I and then Xbox reduce it. Get a year but then it essentially, rather. then they're going to be reducing a reduced price, and I think that's then going to start. Yeah. No, just say so you could buy a year's worth at one go, so you're not having to pay on a subscription basis. So, oh, can you not? Yeah, just but they, oh yeah, but then surely now that hurts more at the end of every year going oh shit, I have to pay one hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah, but so a lot of people don't want to pay for the subscription of that coming out every month. I'd much rather see fifteen dollars a month coming out than one hundred and eighty dollars at the end of the year. One hundred and eighty dollars is like a pay packet. I'd rather just get it over and done with. Just forget about it then for the year, like car insurance. Yeah, it explains a lot, Luke. <laughs> yeah. What about your car tax? How's that gone? Yeah, exactly. We won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we bringing up personal issues? Personal issues are brought in because somebody didn't tax their car and they got clamped. What was the next segment, Luke? <laughs> <laughs> I had Moving to on! Pound to get it <laughs> um, so we were then shown a lovely panoramic scene, panoramic scene even... Mm-hmm. Which Ben kindly interjected and said, "This is the, the new Elder Scrolls," what? and then oh, snapped oh, shot to right, the city. Right, okay. Can, I, can as... I first explain? No. If you open up a game by saying it's 4K, real time, it looks amazing, it's gorgeous, oh, yeah. and then that you was, start yeah. by showing some mountains, and I immediately ocean. just thought, oh, "Do you know what? That's Elder Scrolls." It was a flash for I wasn't thinking it. Fifteen seconds later, <laughs> when what was announced? Not 15 seconds later, we were then shown a lovely panoramic scene, panoramic, I will get that right, scene of a city. Okay. Yes. I'm assuming saw, New York. We saw New York, we saw Dubai. Exactly, saw so I immediately thought this might not be the new <laughs> Elder Scrolls. We then saw an aeroplane, uh, at which point you thought, definitely not Elder Scrolls. I might, I might have been a little bit concerned this at this point. dragon's a bit weird. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, new dragons. The, the new dragons <laughs> are a little bit weird. But then, after that plane, what did we see? Another plane! And then... That's when it clicked. Another plane. It was Flight Simulator. Mm. Great. I don't think we need it's, this. It's a very select... It's quite a big big and popular game. I would By call all, it all surprisingly the power to you, popular. If you like these sorts of games, all the power to you, it's great, you've got another game. It's something that I didn't expect at E3 when they're trying to show off what their company is all about and what their company can create. It's a great game. It's a very pretty game. Maybe yeah. that's their angle. Maybe that and that may be so. And it looked pretty in certain scenes. In other scenes it didn't look so great. There Still was good. one scene where that plane was backing up and it did yeah, look... Yeah, it looked a little bit... I'm going to steal one of your words here. A little bit grainy. 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 That's the word of the yeah. day, that is. Comparatively <laughs> pokey. Yeah. 
But so, there's some of those shots so you could not tell if they were real or not if they yeah, were CGI'd. So, which was which is cool. Which is what you'd expect if, from this if it is in game. <laughs> This is it because we can't tell. We're not sure yeah. if it's actually part of the game or not. Yeah. Despite the statements at the start, we don't actually know what we were looking at. Yeah. So flight simulator. <laughs> what's next? Uh, we then had uh, Age of Empires two, a four K uh, remaster. Yep. 4K. Looks amazing. Apparently, yeah. For for this game, it's considered. Do you need that for like a? You don't a because in it possible. can't be. Can only be as detailed as yeah, small as it can that's get. That's what I mean. But this is people are were asking for this. It's a modern day rendition. They brought Age an old game back. Good game. Great. The scenery looked game. very nice. Also, you know, the characters then had the more traditional sort of pixelated yeah. aspect. So it incorporated the best of both. I hope that they do that switch thing that you had on the Master Chief collection where you press one button and it goes back to how oh, it makes oh. Like uh, the Monkey Island remakes. Yeah. More That'll games need fun. that. Re- all remakes need that feature. I Except from feature. Final Fantasy VII remake, that doesn't need that. Can you imagine it though? Can you imagine that when you're in a like place? playing the new yesterday. style game, but with like five polygon be, clouds? That, I bet you that would be either like a DLC, or it'd be like end game content or something. I think you could it would be it. a pre pre order bonus. I think that you're making things up. I think it's be a microtransaction. <laughs> Might <be>, no, <laughs> we we're not don't don't test my patience. I think it's going to come in a loot box. It looks... This game... I don't even know. What game are we talking about now? Age of Empires. Age of Empires. <laughs> looks amazing and it's great and they're bringing back a game that other people love, that people have asked for. It's very Good true. on them. Go Xbox on that front. Yeah. Moving on. Next we had a post-apocalypse sort of Winter Wonderland game which I'd never seen done before. Is this Wasteland 3? It's Wasteland 3, yes. Wasteland 3 got announced. Yeah. Cool. Cool. OG top down Fallout sh- people. It's not even a top down shooter, is it? It's a tactical. It's like XCOM, I yeah. think. A bit like we're not. Time we're not. We almost. haven't got strong opinions on this. I don't think. I like I that like, style of game, but it I, looks it's not for me. Is okay then. Is if it's your sort of style, if you like your hillbilly cowboy, that's the guy is. Yeah. I'm not being. I'm not being politically incorrect here. Yeah. He is like a hillbilly cowboy sort of fella. If you like that sort of humour where he's like shooting things in the air and then you're going off fighting enemies, this is the game for yeah. you. If you saw XCOM and thought, this has too many aliens and not enough cowboys. whiskey and snow. And cowboys. Then, yeah. And I'm pretty sure I saw an old there broken aeroplane. There was an old broken aeroplane. There you go. Yeah. So it's linked to f- Flight simulator. Flight simulator. Flight simulator. Airplane simulator. 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 Flight simulator. Cinematic universe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, there's not too much strong opinions on that one. No. We're gonna have to speed this along. This is already forty-seven minutes. We said Microsoft would be the big one. Yeah. Go on. What's next? Next, uh, they announced their new partnership with Double Fine for for Psychonauts Two, mm-hmm. uh, which they announced will be available at launch on the Game Pass. So oh, got to go cool. buy it. That's really cool. That is cool. That's a that's Psychonauts a good that's a good game. solid game that Xbox needed. And yeah. Psychonauts One was so many years ago now. It's a shame that it's taken this long. Yeah. The game doesn't look as nice as I wanted it. Grainy. No. Gra- <laughs> yes. 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 Like the character models look like they pulled them out of the PS2 generation. Which is game. really weird. The rest like, of the game looks. I understand that that's like how they've been styled, and that's mm. obviously. Designer wise, that is what they wanted to go for is that look. I understand that, but you could have made them look better yeah. while keeping that look. Just up the textures a bit, I think, would have. Hmm. Sort of like how Mario in N64 has now come to this. They've rounded them out and it's all smooth and glossy and whatnot. I'm... Yeah. It's just as an, an example. Also, I think there, was, there has been a previous trail of Psychonauts 2. I don't think there, it's there was gameplay. A, no, but... there, there was a previous trailer of them all falling through the air in a cinematic. Yeah. So I can sort of let them off. I, yeah, I guess cinematics but, is a different ball game. But gameplay wise, looks exactly the same as the first one. You got your little ball. You're jumping on it, throwing it. Yeah. Weird there might kooky levels where you you're jumping on teeth and. Yeah, there was definitely whatnot. a dentist level. Yeah, and then there's big baddie and yeah. scientists of doom and. Looks cool. Exactly I mean, what you'd want from Psychonauts it's, it's too. It's more of the same, but I mean, it's not like there's many games like Psychonauts. Exactly. Not anymore. Platformers are a dying trend. 3D. 
three D platformers. Sorry, two D platformers. My God, can't they're move doing for them. well, but I like them so. Good. Next. Well, then. <laughs> Next, uh, we have um, the latest instalment of the Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. Which is one to nine. One to, one nine. to nine. If you like your Lego, Lego Star Wars games, it, there's a collection of all of them out for you now. Yeah. Technically not all of them, but yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean there. <laughs> uh, we had uh, then a showing of uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. 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 There we go. Yeah. yeah. It's Goku's Saiyan name. Yep. Have That's... you watched the anime? I have seen a shocking amount of Dragon Ball Z considering I have never had the means to watch it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand in the passing. answer to <laughs> In passing, you've seen So just a fair in visits amount. to yeah. places, I have seen the Freezer Saga, the Cell Saga, the Margin Buu Saga, and the, set the was... Tournament of. Power, I when I was called. younger, I saw the Cell one where he used to eat them with his tail. Yeah, Cell was... Yeah, that used to creep me out. Cell was pretty cool. When I was younger, I watched Pokemon. Well, so did we. we <laughs> and look how you it. turned out. Um, but anyway, this game looks then, awesome. Yeah, take us through it, Elliot. So, quickly. unlike all the other Dragon Ball Z games, which are basically just fighting games, this one is like an action-adventure boss rush kind of game where you just play as Goku... Start to finish, Goku's story, you go through the Frieza saga, the Cell saga, the Majin Buu saga, possibly. I don't think it goes into Dragon Ball Super. I think it's just Dragon Ball Z stuff. The but stuff that people care the most about. Yeah. Have Super the most has had mixed. Reception. Yeah. But so, looks awesome. Very pretty. Fun to play. Sweet. Then we had uh, 12 Minutes. It's a thriller interactive game where you're apparently sort of stuck in a time loop. Yep. Uh, top literally is proper literally top down. Top down. Yeah. So imagine having a camera above you. It is the uh, bird's above eye view. Above your ceiling, really. Oh, yeah. It is but... the bird's eye view definition of this. Yeah. Mm. It looks like a thriller. Um, story driven, obviously. Very story very driven. Very story. Yeah. I imagine the gameplay is mostly conversation based. Yeah, I would imagine so. And then you've got essentially. The premise that it builds on is the fact that your wife or girlfriend has create, committed a heinous crime. Possibly. Apparently. Apparently. That's what you've heard. Someone then, is coming to do... So you your problem, and her. chances are, is it'll be something like you've got 12 minutes to try and figure out as much as you can do before everything resets. So yeah. imagine, I can, I'm imagining this like Majora's Mask sort of thing where you've got to get so much done in those 12 That's minutes, right. and then when you go back, you can then take what you yeah. learn from those 12 minutes back. So Majora's exactly. Mask... Case if you gained an item, yada yada yeah. yada. Like Eesh. the film, I was going to say Looper. That's the wrong film. The one with Jake Gyllenhaal on the train. I watched it recently. It was really good. Great. I like Jake Gyllenhaal. Ah, okay. <laughs> Move it on. Come on. Source yeah. code. So- <laughs> if anyone's seen Source Code, it is exactly that, but it's in an apartment. And it's a top-down view. Yeah. Yeah. Next, we have uh, Way to the Woods. Uh, which is the game where you play as a deer with the glowing horn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but all you empty faced people there. <laughs> if you've seen if you played Flower or Journey, it yeah, even reminds me a little journey. bit like Journey and Flower, that sort of style game where you're a majestic deer feeding your little baby deer trash. Just just exploring deer. A, Goatling then. Exploring um, an Goatling. abandoned <laughs> world. Goatling. <laughs> Somehow, um, and your antlers can Glow. You can Conduct draw light from around you and glow your horns. Mm. So yeah. So it's like taking and transferring power by the sounds of it. Yep. So it's going to be sort of an exploration game. It's not yeah. too... Someone's some, going to die. Not something stressful. Looks if you like to chill. take certain types of drugs, you may I, enjoy this on a I Friday imagine there's evening. there's be a few puzzles in this. You may not like, like this then. <laughs> but I think it will be along the lines of... I need to chill out. Uh, journey and yeah. Abzu. And... I mean, they had their puzzle elements, but they were relatively yeah. minute. Just like what to beat up to get through something. I think that might be the extent of these puzzles. I don't. Oh, well, no, there is headbutting in there this. There is headbutting, yeah. yeah. You we see saw it break glass. Yeah. Go Damn on then. Glass. What else has Microsoft blessed us with? I say bless. Well, you say blessed. I say show nothing. <laughs> Gears uh, 5. <laughs> Gears 5. They didn't show any more gameplay, did they? We saw... Not in this... Uh, no. Several faces. 
Oh, the first trailer they show um, one of the main characters. Yeah, I forget her name, but lots the of, one you play as. Yeah, lots of prior main characters' faces like phasing in and out, and then it implies that she is somewhat connected to a hive queen, and yeah. that's it. That's yeah. this. That whole trailer is that, that's and it just the... shows like her face, these faces like morphing in and out of her, and then it shows her like in some way related to this hive queen, where her eyes going dark yellow and her skin starts to turn blue and veins appear that's it yep so if you were if you were looking forward to gears five and you're thinking oh they'll show it at e3 you'd be a little bit disappointed certainly not the story they showed more last year yeah exactly like last year showed the game is coming out now on correct me if i'm wrong here september 10th Yes, you are right. I'm right Ooh. for once. Four yeah. days early with a special edition. Yeah, so great. So if you want to pay extra money, then you get games for free. Just like microtransactions and pay-to-win systems. You don't get the game for free if you pay get extra it, money. Get it get, get it sooner then. Well, I don't know <laughs> what I said. Um, but my point my point being is that they, the game's relatively soon coming out. They don't want to show too much. I, I can That's appreciate fair. that. Yeah. And I'll let, them, I'll let it slide, but... If they're that's the case, and they're they, showing nothing. They <laughs> could yeah. have shown. So they then had they a trailer show afterwards showing one of the multiplayer game modes. Yeah, the new mode. Which is called? Escape. And what Dominos. do you do? Escape. So this, <laughs> you obviously have to defeat Locust and escape. You plant a bomb, run away. Plant get a bomb, in, plant a bomb, get out. And as as you get further away, as, you, as the time moves on, then doors start to shut. And essentially, you have to get through as many segments as possible, I'm going to imagine, to see how yeah, far out you can get, get or end. get to the end if there is an end. They showed a, quite an interesting sort of cinematic trailer to this of everybody, all of the main four characters, all shooting their way out and trying to get as far as possible. They announced. But didn't show any gameplay. No, they announced that apparently the characters would have their own abilities. Yeah. And which I believe we only saw one. In the cinematic trailer, which, which is, is the girl with the blade, the electric uh, knife, which looked like something ripped straight out of Destiny. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. nothing game changing for I mean, of abilities War. and stuff like that is sort of going into I mean, Destiny. Go sort of. back as it's always I mean, yeah, equipment. you can go as far back as anything, but it's like it, what games are relevant at the moment. Like, Destiny yeah. is a massive staple as to what games of a service has been and whatnot. And this is. Gears of War is known as a cover shooter. And you're starting to add certain elements from other games in. You might end up losing its essence from what Gears used to be and what people used to like about Gears. So they have to be very careful with that. I think when it says ability, I think it purely means who can use what gear. Because at the end of the day, you are just a human in armour. So you Have might... you seen the size of their muscles? Yeah, not Anyone that can have big muscles these days. It might be a case of... <laughs> all right, all right um, Amber, for steroids. <laughs> it might be that one guy can like charge through a bit better than the others, or one's got a battery-powered knife. Yeah. and it The coal train can bash through Exactly. Things, it doesn't really. make that person special. It just makes their equipment yeah. unique. So mm. I don't think they'll go into or any... Or just each character might have a specific loadout. Exactly. Like, you know, Tracy has the chainsaw gun and timmy has the chain gun and jimmy yeah i don't know jimmy, jimmy. Bimmy, yeah as an example but that's out on september 10th yep sweet the now as opposed to a game we've actually had some hardware announced the new elite controller yeah um series two um it is completely adjustable from what we've seen the triggers the joysticks same as always then. Yeah. Sort of thing. Like you everything's can... interchangeable. Weights in it if you like weighted controller. Yep. Everything that you could imagine. Triggers, back buttons. But what's the biggest and best thing that you liked about it, Luke? There's two things. Two actually. massive things that you like about the it. The first one is you can set certain profiles for certain games. So you That's don't quite have cool. to constantly change. You have three set preload outs. Yeah. Is um, that as in like invert or not invert and that kind of thing? Or... I mean, that can go along that it's really, on like want. how far how you want to press the button for it to count as registering. Ah, okay. So sort of how loose and things you want. Or joystick. say, for example, the extra buttons on the back. If one of them is supposed to be, let's say, for example, left bumper, and you press the button on the back, but you don't want it to be that for another game, you then uh, it then would be right bumper. Say, for yeah. example. Got it. And what's okay. the net? The big proper thing that you love. I know I shouldn't love it so much, 
but they've finally put a controller with a rechargeable integrated battery pack. Yeah, Xbox, you are... So mm. late to this party, but so they was, did it. So was the original Xbox Elite controller not... Was that no. battery operated? Was the it? original Elite was still needed batteries. Always, every controller, to my knowledge, has always had either needed to take a battery or had a battery. Like pack. Xbox have always sold chargeable battery packs. Yeah, I mean, I've got one and mine's not... It, it works quite well, but it's an extra 20 quid. Chargeable mm. docking stations, things like that, they've always sort of cashed in on mm. that. So to finally see them actually doing it is, is a shocker. How yeah. much is the Elite controller? Well, when the last one came out, it was about 170. So I could easily see pushing 200 for this controller. <laughs> Damn. Next, uh, we had uh, a bit more of Dying Light 2, which is just another zombie game. As far as I can yeah, tell. Yeah, I mean, I never played the first one. Seemed cool. Still don't care about the second one. Yeah, I think it sort of, no pun intended, sort of died a death. <laughs> it received relatively well. It's, yeah. It's just a zombie game in a world of zombie games. You parkour. You, you parkour. And they're not doing, or run away they're not doing anything particularly outstanding. We all know what parkour is. We all know what zombies are. We all know that you can mix them. You're not bringing anything new to the table. Do something incredible if you want us to gain... If you want us to look at your zombie game and go that this is going to be the zombie game that's the best. It's like Last of Us. It's not really a zombie game, but it is a zombie game, let's be honest. Mm. But what do they do that's different to everybody else? Is an amazing story. And that is what makes it stand out. And any zombie game can do that. Yeah. If the story is good, all stories can be... or are different. So a good story makes your game different and a reason to play it. However, if you're just showing me parkour and zombies, I already know that I can do that. I don't need a game to sh- tell me that. Exactly. Yeah. Fair? Absolutely. Fair. Done. Next. <laughs> Forza Horizon 4 expansion. And this was... This was a completely doozy. Completely out of the blue. The Lego expansion. Yep. Lego Speed Racers. Lego Speed Racers like for Forza Horizon 4 is... So cool! It's co- way cooler it's than hilarious. you can ever like talk about sort of thing. I'm sure there'll be plenty of people out there saying like, this is like a joke announcement, man. Like, this yeah. is a waste of my time. <laughs> but this is maybe the best thing Xbox did. I would... I would argue that it is. This it they it looks so out of place and so weird and so I'm gonna say kooky yeah. that it works and that's mm. what's great. Like Lego does well anyway in pretty much any situation. Yeah. But it's implemented well and you can have the old racing style of like the realistic yeah, from four to four. Yeah, going separate in enough. new maps and whatnot. And chances are with that they could potentially put in sort of like your own build your own race course at a Lego. How easy would that be? That would be cool. Exactly. As a possibility. Yeah. But they we did see that there is at least one Lego race course in it. You can go smashing through all your Lego trees and Lego houses and mm-hmm. Lego everything. It looks Good damn stuff. cool. And yeah. the Lego car that was on stage was awesome. Yeah. Uh, next we saw the abysmal game that is the pop uh, Pop Figures, Gears of War mobile game, which is not okay. So no. There. Unneeded. We don't want it. Mobile game, it's Gears of War. It's more just sort of cash in. There's not really too much to say about it. It doesn't look particularly great. Uh, it no. just looks like something just that you would... Game. It looks like a typical mobile game where it's just sort Can't of... understand just who sort this of there. is for. They're using two sort of potentially big and popular brands mm. to sell this shit. Exactly. Uh, State of Decay 2, uh, so it's, it's getting a expansion, Heartland, mm-hmm. new stories going forward. Yeah. Again, more freaking zombies. Yeah, mm. again, we won't go on about Reviewed it. Reviewed well, though, I think. Like, State really of Decay well. 2, the original. Oh, I'm not thinking of State of Decay. Ignore me. What are you thinking of? I'm thinking of the Russian one. Um, I was going to say, you're going to have to tell us now. It's something and then a number. Metro. Metro 33 or Metro yeah. Exodus. The, the, the new one. That's the new Metro icy. game. Yeah. From Mate, last that's, year. A, that's completely, that's not even a zombie game. That is a zombie game. No, it's not. 
Yes, it is. It's no, got it's a not. zombie bear in it. That was the most important thing about it. <laughs> Are you sure that was the most important yeah. thing? It's about like a post-apocalyptic. Yeah, we, post-apocalyptic... Won't, we won't get out, we won't get into <laughs> it. Zombie apocalypse? No, it's, it's a not post-apocalyptic a zo- it's post- Russia. Not... It's all oh. frozen over. Whatever. Anyways, but everything is zombies. <laughs> Uh, next, we had a couple of uh, anime-based games, which look quite good. Go, uh, go through them. We had Fantasy Star Online 2, which apparently is big. Yeah. And we had Tales of Arise. Yeah. I mean, so, both of them look quite cool. Big deal too, actually. I Looks do... like a big step up for the Tales games. Yeah, I would agree. They're true to anime form in yeah. every aspect and, and ratio, yeah. if you get me. They are anime-ass anime games. And they are doing what anime does best and just giving you badassery, abnormal, unrealistic weaponry yeah. to slaughter lights, enemies. Flying and, people, yeah. swords and gun battles. You like slash somebody a thousand times, but they don't get killed. But one stab and a cutscene and they're dead. Mm. Mm. Love it. <laughs> um, we had, not an exclusive, but a first to Xbox after PC... Um, uh, Smilegate partnership um, with the Crossfire X. So this is a game coming out to Xbox first, I believe. Mm-hmm. And um, so not quite an exclusive. I mean, yeah, this has already been out. So out on yeah. PC. So it's just it's now this coming to consoles. Apparently, a big deal in Asia. Yeah. So coming across to Xbox first, and then will eventually come to PlayStation. Yeah. Um, and then they released um. DLC for Borderlands 2. Mm-hmm. They did the Lilith and Commander. Defense. Is this the free extra DLC? The free DLC. So that's DLC. really cool that yeah. they're bringing like back to life. It's like a setup DLC for Borderlands 3. It yeah. crashed the Xbox store when trying to download it because I did it straight after the cast. Oh. And it took fucking ever to load. <laughs> um, we then saw next, uh, the big in- next instalment from, from Software. Yeah. With Elden Ring uh, with uh, George R. Martin. They're again all cinematic, but have definitely set a nice looking scene yeah, so far. We're, yeah, we're talking about this before as well. With From Software, you have can have trust and faith in them. They yeah. bring out nothing but solid games, especially recently, anyway. I mean, they, they know what they're doing. It's been a while. I think even if you go back as far as the Armored Cores, they're still. Yeah, I mean, even games. going back to like their very first game, like it got it was well received. And that's true. So. Yeah. This is uh, not something that you're going to get super excited for, but you can look at it and exactly the same with the very first image that they showed of Sekiro with the arm. Is you look at it and you go, oh, that's interesting. I want to know more. Yep, it's yeah. peaked feature interest. Uh, they touched a little bit more on the X Cloud and how the console is like the, the home server and still partially required yep. for it. So, mm. But not really touched more on it going forward. Apparently, it's got undistinguishable latency, but. That's obviously set up in a prime location for it to do that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, and obviously, then the final and biggest thing: the brief announcement of the next gen console. Yeah. So they touched upon the sort of the hardware that we're looking into and what the console can do. Uh, we're looking at a Zen Two Navi, something or another. I don't know what that means. I sort of zoned out. Trying to write it down. That's their plan. No one knows what it means, so we think it sounds it's good. It's four times stronger than the Xbox One X. It will run 120 frames per second. It is a capacity 8K. 8K and will contain an SSD. Yep. Those are numbers I understand. Oh, come on. There's got to be some more opinions and, and viewpoints on this. we'll launch with Halo. Yeah, that's what they needed to be Halo doing. Halo we somewhat care about. Going back to the unnamed Xbox... Project Unnamed Still, Xbox? Project Scarlet is not a name. It's like I mean, Project Scorpio. To be honest, it's actually. It's like Project Scorpio. Hmm. It's, it's going, going off that, though, I wouldn't mind it if the next Xbox was called Project Scarlet. I think that's quite a cool name. Like yeah, definitely Xbox take Scarlet it. or Xbox? No, Project Just Scarlet. Just Project Scarlet. Yeah, we're scrapping Xboxes then. They won't do it, obviously. But no. Xbox is too well of a I'd be happy name. if they did take this one X or... Xbox, colon... Project Scarlet is their console. I mean, there'll be a Project Scarlet edition of it. Yeah, the Scorpio I mean, edition that they yeah. released, didn't they? So, but no, I'm looking forward to seeing more about this console and seeing some actual physical looks of it, not just yeah. Yeah. talking about it. So. I've got some very choice and strong opinions on this, in the sense that they should have actually shown the thing and gotten ahead while Sony's sleeping. Well, 
we did we spoke about this in our prior podcast as well, saying that realistically Xbox need to be announcing their new console this I mean, year because, when it's because out. next year is the chance are they're going to be a bit too late. Uh, if plans are going ahead like they seem to be, is I reckon around about this time next year, I reckon PlayStation are going to be dropping theirs, which means that by the time it gets around to Christmas time, there'll be a you plenty... You think it'll be out by this time next year? I reckon it'll be out around this time next year. I think, I think I'm happy to make that sort of commitment. I reckon come late, think... late this year, so sort of like November-ish time, I reckon they'll announce it. Well, they did say holiday 2020 for the Project Scarlet. So that's, mm. so that's what I'm going off, is that Project Scarlet, Xbox are behind by a year at the moment. And we've, I've spoken about this numerous times, because if you bought an Xbox One X, you got it a year after people that's got me. their PlayStation Pro. <laughs> and the people that got a PlayStation Pro have gotten a whole extra year out of their console, their upgraded console, before they're moving on to the next console. Yeah. It does feel very quick from the one X. Yeah. Like for like so Imagine if you had the sad Xbox. I mean that's like This is this I mean, this is something that we've spoken about before is when is when, when is do you have to, to be it? announcing these consoles? Because you anybody that's bought a sad Xbox mm. if that thinking that that was the ultimate Xbox or whatever that they needed to get, not knowing not being not very yet aware of gaming like we are then they would be super yeah. pissed this off this console is definitely not the next sort of iteration in, in this generation it is like a little off branch like the budget version for people who just mm. want to play games mm. they're not fussed about the latest it's not budget, things but yeah yeah it's... in comparison it, it's not going to do what the later ones do it's mm. i mean we probably shouldn't talk it anyway but Price range of this new Project Scorpio. Bearing in mind, it's four times Project stronger. Scarlet. Project Scar- Scarlet. Sorry, yeah. it's four times stronger than an Xbox. It's 120 frames per second, 8K potential, which is just pointless because game. Oh, no. How many games are made to 4K at the moment? Next exactly. to none. Who like? And then 8K. 4K just sort TVs of like, still aren't even that common. Yeah, like I and mean, people make them, but people don't have them. It's like it's like I've got a 4K TV. The only time I've ever watched a 4K film is Deadpool, <laughs> and the demos of 4K on YouTube, and that's it. <laughs> because there's not there's not that 4K isn't as common or as good as you would like to think it is. And then mm. you've got 8K coming out. You, it's one of those things where Xbox are flexing at the moment, and they're going, "Look at what we're doing." This is how strong we are. In a sense, and this is going back to what we were saying before, because because Xbox have are behind and whatnot, and Sony have completely taken control of every situation here. The problem is, is they were doomed to not announce anything this um, this E three, mm-hmm. but more so is now that they have announced it. Xbox have got the whole playing field in front of them and going, we know what your moves are because you've already just shown us. We'll make our move. Now all PlayStation can do is just turn around and just go, so this is what we've got. And they explain all of the positives to PlayStation that's going to outweigh or take out Xbox. I'm not being funny, but saying that a, a console is, oh, it's four times more powerful. Okay, Give us a give us a sense to run this from, okay? It's runs one hundred and twenty frames per second. Is that at all times? What game is this for? Is this for yeah. Halo Six? Give us some more details. You're giving us these base figures that it's almost like somebody in the office has just gone, okay. Well, it it's able to run one hundred and twenty frames per second when it's sat on just a menu yeah. screen. If you we can say that basic Pac Man. Yeah. It, do, you, do you know what I'm saying? Like It's numbers that have come from somebody in an office that's just gone, okay, we need this. Yeah. It's not a realistic aspect of what this is capable of. Mm-hmm. And that's where, in an essence, they're going to go wrong because they're, they're, they're saying, look at everything that this console is going to be able to do. Look how brilliant and amazing it is. If PlayStation, three or four months down, six months down the line, turn around and say, this is what the PlayStation will do, the new PlayStation 5 will do, and they show us footage and they show us details, mm. who are you going to put your money on? 
somebody that's just stood there and said, oh, yeah, well, we can do this and we can do this, we can do this, or the person that's just gone, ah, but I'll show you me doing this. This is just, still just an announcement, remember, and Xbox have always delivered on their consoles. Really? What? The Xbox One at launch was... A, no, they a said, what they said they were going to do, they put into their console. Maybe not the Xbox One, but the, the One X. Mm. Oh, you, so you're choosing one console, one additional line that they've added to the Xbox One yeah. process, and we should go off solely off that when they've or when they're already a year behind on that. They've done it before, so they can do it again. And I said, we will see more as they release more. I said, this I is purely know. just an announcement. Yeah, and I know, and I'm happy to admit and take on board that it's just an announcement, but it's an announcement that hasn't boded well, I think. I think that this is going to end up causing them more problems. If Xbox had kept quiet, and this is something that I want to go on to after this, is Xbox need their own direct. They need their own way of delivering... Well, they have them, they're just not any good. Like, they're, they, like, they three need, hours long. They need to like... put more information... They need to... Why didn't they just go, we've got us... On this E3, they should have just said, in September, the 26th, at 7 o'clock um, Pacific time, we're going to have a big announcement. Yeah. Tune in for then. We're going to have, have 15 Xbox minutes, experience. And they have 15 minutes where they just go, this is the new Xbox Give us the name, give us the title, show us mm. what the show us what you're capable of. And this is this is what I'm saying is I'm not saying that it's necessarily gonna be a bad console, but your deli- their delivery of this is so shattered, they're not so- solidifying what they're displaying here. Yeah, they're you're not just telling us what giving us can... a reason to care. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's my concern with it, and that's why I'm saying Sony have got the upper hand here because if Sony turn around and they do give that solidification that Xbox have lacked on, hmm. who would who in their right mind would pick this the company? Xbox. I mean, how much how many more items have we got on the Xbox list, list to talk about? That's it. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's so it. going off this E three for Xbox, we said we said last week Xbox needs to do a absolutely stellar show to take things away oh, the other thing that we did miss is Halo 6 more footage was shown of Halo yeah. 6 yeah. Um, while, we... while we're still on the console though no no I'm keeping oh, on to back. it okay. um, Halo. but for example <laughs> we said last week that E3 uh, E3 Xbox need to do something stellar and mm. impressive all eyes are on them because Sony aren't there this is yeah. their time to shine where are your first party games that stand out from the rest what reason do I have at the moment to go to Xbox rather than PlayStation? There's Halo, that's amazing. Maybe. Halo's great. Gears we of War. Haven't seen it. No, well, Halo from <laughs> again, this is another problem. Why not showing the gameplay footage of that? Mm. But Gears of War does really well. Yeah. That's a really cool reason to get Xbox. Forza. Forza is a really good reason to get Xbox. Come on, Luke. You're the residential Xbox expert. The Xbox don't have many of their own uh, exclusives. So. so why would I want to go to Xbox when at PlayStation I've got like the Nathan Drakes, I've got Naughty Dog, to be, yeah. for example. <laughs> Naughty Dog. Dog. You've got, got God, of, God War. of War. If you're bored, you've got Days Gone. Yeah, <laughs> if you're particularly <laughs> bored. But then you can just dig backwards. Final you've Fantasy got... Seven remake oh yeah that's they've got the partnership with Activision I mean that's something you could probably throw away let's be honest and not (sighs) that uh, deal is worth billions yeah billions to the masses billion yeah billions to the more common (laughs) folk yes but what I'm saying is is if I had the choice between these two consoles this is what I wanted Xbox to do at this E3 conference is I wanted them to tell me to sit down and stop thinking about anything else and only think about Xbox and that's not what I've done through this that conference I I didn't uh, the only point of which I was really super excited during the whole of most of that was for potentially Psychonauts 2 that's that's quite cool yeah but again that's not a massive massive super game is up your alley or Cyberpunk 2077 which is also coming to PlayStation yeah do you see what I'm saying I do they did not 
They could have announced more about this console. They didn't hit a home yet. run. Mm. Yeah. I mean, even just seeing what the box looks like. Yeah. Like, it sounds like a small thing. But then you can, like, you can picture it and you can be like, oh, it looks so cool. And, like, I feel like they've gone... We feel like focus on X Cloud Gaming, and again, they're going focusing a lot on PC gaming and this cross playing and everything like that. Mm. That might be where they're losing their sight. Is they're putting their so many ideas in at once, they're not. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? Like, I'm not fussed about cloud gaming at all. Like no. gaming on the go, I I don't do it. So like, you you've always been an Xbox fan, haven't you? Yeah. So when it comes to this new Xbox. If say for example, let's just say hypothetically, if this got really if this got announced and then the new PlayStation was announced and the PlayStation the PlayStation is a little bit stronger, a little bit quicker, yeah. looks just as good or the same sort of thing, same sort of price, which would you go for? The Xbox is our personal preference. Why? Because I've always had the Xboxes. All my friends play on the Xboxes. So you would get it for your Ooh. friendships and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. if the PlayStation comes out six months earlier? No. No. What if no. the PlayStation is cheaper? Still no. wouldn't because I knew if I went to that console now, I would potentially be the only one on it. What happens if your friends went to so the you're... PlayStation? Oh yeah. What if, if they it... went to the PlayStation? So if 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 it was coming out six months earlier, and your friends were going to. PlayStation because it's the more powerful console, same sort of price, six months earlier. Would you come back to Xbox? Probably still. You'd still get an Xbox. Do you reckon you'd get so. both? I would definitely get both. You'd yeah, be. I wouldn't be without either or. Because my yeah. Xbox is my main console that I play my games on. Mm. I have my PlayStation when I want the exclusives that I can't get anywhere else. That's purely yeah. what I use my PlayStation for. Yeah. Mm. So. So yeah. Yeah. For See, me, it's, it's all just personal preference, regardless of what the console does. It is, it's what I know. Yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, nothing I like is these... going to make me buy this Xbox. Xbox I've never is... owned an Xbox. I don't think See, I ever will. I, I can, I can, I can definitely see th- that argument for it. Um, I can see your argument. I've had Xboxes and Playstations. I'm quite happy to go between both of them. For the most part, I'm picking up the Playstations first. Because they seem to have more of the games that I want on them. Yeah. Just going off of that point, though, is the fact that you've got to remember that before Xbox One and PlayStation 4, Xbox 360 and PS3, Xbox 360 was ahead of PlayStation, wasn't it? At the, yeah, at at the, the end, end. At at the PlayStation end, yeah. 3 actually overtook. overtook. But for the most part... But- the Xbox was yeah. leading for the vast majority yeah. of Yeah, and they sold so many. And a couple of mistakes. Yeah. Look what's happened to the numbers now. Going from the 360 to the 1, yes, there was mm. a lot of issues. And this is this is what I'm saying. But they've, this they've made the concern for PlayStation. But they've made this massive... Okay, yeah, obviously, I'm not saying that this is... I'm not putting PlayStation in a position where they're not going to lose or whatever... <laughs> What I'm saying is, is that Xbox are not putting themselves in a good position to not be losing. No, they're not putting enough of a conversation out there that they're like, what is in people's minds? I feel like they're almost with this console, they're just making it for their existing players and not so focusing too much on getting new, getting people, new people potentially. If yeah. their main focus is their existing and player And that base. might be the best way to take away from it then. Potentially. Mm. Mm. which is a, a, a nice way of thinking about it because if you think about, let's worry about the people that we do have them rather than the ones that we don't yeah yeah, yeah. I mean it's going to be interesting to see what they do I'm just sceptical and a little bit upset I'm I wish they say. had shown more I wanted more, like, more just in terms of E3 I wanted to see more yeah I wanted Xbox to show us what they can do not what they are doing and they didn't. Sh- they they talked about what they can do. They didn't show it. Mm. No, However, just before we thing. finish off, we didn't really talk much about Halo Six. Um, Halo Six didn't show anything. Didn't show it. anything, unfortunately. It was just another cinematic. It was another cinematic, and they sh- sh- decided to show the inside of a spaceship. Of mm. all the things to show, why didn't they just show 
It's even the, even it's the like, intro from Endgame. It's the intro from Endgame. It is it's the intro from Endgame, but they find Master Chief. Uh, um, fair. <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, <laughs> he's not wrong. But essentially, from this, well, uh, what I was just gonna go off that and say is, why didn't they show? They they've obviously gone back to the original art style, which everyone's super yeah. happy about, which is really great. Why didn't they show some more of that? Why didn't they show some of the land? And then, as a sneak preview, or a super extra bit of a surprise, you just see a little grunt waddle onto the screen at the end. <laughs> Maybe the Covenant aren't in this anymore. Super nice looking... What? Maybe the Covenant aren't in this one anymore. I mean, Were that would one? kill Xbox. They, if the Covenant would, weren't in it. It I would be a re- four or five. Are the Covenant still in it? They are it? still in it. Okay. Yeah. Five is a lot more on the Prometheans. I mean, four yes. was on the Prometheans, but five is even more on them. And the they're all robots and they're nothing like Covenant and it's not the same and oh, that's right. where there was a lot of upset with yeah, it. Yeah, that doesn't sound that great. Yeah. I think 6 is going gonna, is gonna to have very little to do with the Covenant on this one because as you said, it has been fading out. But no, it seems they, somewhat rebooty. Like it's not yeah, called Halo they 6, may, it's called yeah. Halo whatever it's called. Infinite. 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 But, but they have said it's a sequel. Yeah. It will continue off from, from 5. 5. So, so hopefully, I, think... I mean if they're going back to the ring there's a high chance that it could go just straight back to yeah. original... A broken of flood. I don't know if that means something. I believe it's the first ring that you go to in Halo 1. Isn't that, that right? Well, I think... I believe I read that somewhere. Or I I'm just making is. assumptions. And I it, think and I it it's plausible. It's plausible. And that's it for Xbox. Yeah. That took way longer than it, we should, it should have done. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll divide this video actually now into three... That seems fair. That seems fair. We'll or have a little mini two, episode. Two if we go through Ubisoft and... Bethesda. Bethesda. Pretty quick. But as for now... Wait, did we already do that? No. No. Yep. <laughs> as for now, we'll um, yeah. do the next video. Call it quits. Call it quits. <laughs> yeah.